Hello everyone, welcome back to High Mathematics. In this video we're going to solve this interesting equation with 8 power. We have nominator, denominator, so we need to we need to solve it. How can we solve it? I want to show you a really good approach. How can we do this? So let's factor for out from nominator x square because we can do this. We will have if we factor x square, we will have in our parentheses x to the sixth power and plus one. So this is our nominator. And in our denominator, what we will have? The same thing factoring x square we will have x to the fourth power and plus x square so we just factor in this x square and of course right now we can easily cancel this ex expression with x square in our denominator and in our denominator so as a result what we will have we will have that x to the sixth power plus one over x to the fourth power plus x square equal to one so after this cancelling, we will have this, this expression. So how can we solve it? Let's multiply by, so multiplying by our denominator. So if you multiply by our denominator, we will have a really good equation x to the sixth power plus one equal to x to the fourth power plus x, x square. So how can we solve it? Of course, let's bring this all on the left hand side, x to the sixth power plus one minus x to the fourth power plus x or minus right here minus x square equal to equal to zero or we can write it in another order so x to the six minus x square plus one and minus x to the fourth power equal to zero so take a look right here right now we can easily factor from these two elements we can easily factor x square so from here factoring x square and right here we can easily write it in another way i'm going to show you right now how can i do this so factoring x square x square in parentheses x to the fourth power minus one and minus i get these these elements in parentheses as well minus x to the fourth power minus one equal to zero so as you can see really good really good trick right now factoring x square and right now we have two same two same parentheses these parentheses and these parentheses are the same and of course minus before this and if you open parentheses we'll have the same as right here so nothing change but right now it's it's really good and we finally can factor it factor in because right now we can easily write as x to the fourth power minus one and times x square minus one equal to equal to zero moreover we can write this x to the fourth power x as x square to the second power and minus one square so we can easily use the formula difference of squares and on the right hand side we have x square minus one equal to zero so let's use the formula difference of squares we know that a square minus b square equal to a plus b times a a minus b but in our case a equal to x square and b equal to one so we can easily use this use this formula if we use this formula what we will have we will have x square plus one times x square minus one and times the same x square minus one equal to zero and right now it's really good because we factor in these expressions and we can easily write that our right here this x square plus one equal to zero from here x square equal to minus one and as you can see right here we'll have first pairs of solution but complex complex numbers because if we find the the square root on both of the side we'll have x equal to square root of minus one and of course x equal to plus minus i and of course plus minus right here so the first pair of solution is is complex x equal to plus minus i this is our first pair. but moreover we have the second equation x square minus one equal to zero when x square minus one equal to zero so from here as you can see you can write it as x plus one times x minus one equal to zero and of course our x equal to plus minus plus minus one so right here we have two roots as well and as you can see we will have the same roots in this case in this case we have will have the same roots so as a result two complex roots and four real roots because we'll have two times with plus one and two times with with minus one 
So I hope you understand this explanation. If you understand that, if you enjoy, put your thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And of course, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and see you in the next videos.